All right, let's evaluate an expression a little more, just straight evaluate, that all the pictures. And here's how I would actually work the problem. Notice, I have a 7x minus y minus z minus x minus y plus z. Let's put the things together. What's the same? X's and X's. So let's just move that negative X right there. And what is 7X minus X? Well, that's just 6X gives me 6, right? So now then we have what? I got rid of that X moved over there. Now I have what? A negative Y and a negative Y. Let's, move, let's put them together. What's a negative Y plus a negative Y? And don't tell me they cancel out. It's just like having you owe me a dollar and owe me another dollar. You now owe me two dollars. Two dollars. That's right. I've moved it there. So I've used that one, and what's left? This negative z plus z. If I move that z right there, guess what's going to happen to those? Well, negative plus a positive are going to cancel out, giving me zero z. Now, if it's zero z, do I even have to write it? No. So my answer to just simplify it is 6x minus 2y. And I would be done right there, except this one says evaluate it if x is 2 and y is 4. So let's do that. Let's replace the x with a 2 and the y with a negative 4. So notice I'm going to rewrite it and I'm just going to put parentheses where the x was, parentheses where the y was, put the 2 in there, the negative 4, and then go to my order of operations. I would do 6 times 2 first, which is 12. Now I would do the 2 times negative 4. So I have this minus negative 8. Remember I did not go to the store? This makes it like 12 plus 8, making the answer just 20. All right, let's do one more, maybe a little harder. Woo! Double letters, double variables. But it's the same thing. What is the same? 5x, no, it's not an x, not an x. Oh, there's an x. I can put the 5x with the 2x. Move it there, and 5x plus 2x makes 7x. So I got rid of those, okay? Okay, now I got xy. Do I have an xy? No xy. Oh, xy. I could put those together. So I'm going to move that there. Negative 2xy plus 3xy, hey, it's like you owe me $2 and, I, and you paid 3, yay, you got a dollar coming, xy, plus, that's like, you can write a 1xy there if you want, but if it's 1, you don't have to write it. So I have 7x plus xy, let's move to my next one. Are there any y's together? Oh, yeah, hey, they're right there together. Let's move that one right there. 4y minus 3y makes 1y. Yay! Anything left? See, I canceled out those. One thing left is that or any other Z's? No. So there's my answer. Let's write it a little nicer though. 7x plus xy plus y minus z. There I just simplified it and I would be done except they tell me to evaluate it. So now I'm going to go plug it in, plug it in. Little Glade air freshener there. Okay. I'm going to replace the x's with 2's. And notice I wrote parentheses down. Everywhere a letter was, I made parentheses, and I just plugged in the number that went to it. It's nice and color coordinated there. Now I'll go to my order of operations. 7 times 2 is 14. Then I will do 2 times negative 4. Positive times negative is going to make negative. Negative 8. And now I've just got adds. Let's, we add this. They're all adds or subtracts. So just go straight across. 14 plus negative 8, they're different. I'm going to add them. They're different. I'm going to make subtract. And it's positive 6. Remember, there's different rules for adding. Positive 14 is larger than 8, so therefore the answer is positive 6. Now I'm going to add 6 and negative 4. Are they same or different? They're different, so instead of adding, I'm going to still subtract. 6 minus 4 is 2, and it was positive 2 because 6 is larger than that. Now I have like 2 minus 5, or 2 plus negative 5. Now the 5 is larger and it's negative. I'm still going to subtract. 5 minus 2 makes 3, but it will be negative 3 because 5 is larger than 2 and it was negative. So the answer to that one is negative 3. All right, that's what you have to do when you simplify terms. You must be able to put some things, the things that are alike together, like the x's, xy's, y's. Notice there are no other z's, so, but I cannot add them together. Those stayed like they were because you cannot put them, I cannot add x and xy and get 8xy's. They made different pictures, if you remember the picture part. So that's a very key thing to remember, that you can only add things that are exactly alike. You can multiply things that are different, but you can only add things that are exactly alike.